Good evening once again. You join us for the evening office of Vespers or evening prayer. Great to have you with us. Normally these uh, offices are said in community, communities of monks, religious people, or we say them in groups of lay people as well, priests and lay people. But very often uh, we say them on our own because we can't be with other people. So this is one way of saying it in community across the ether, if you like, across the Wi-Fi and the internet. So however you come to join us and say your offices together, we're also mindful of all the other hundreds of thousands of people who say the office all around the globe. So all the offices are being celebrated simultaneously. We know the Lord can sort it all out to us, it would be a Tower of Babel, but uh, he hears all our prayers, especially the poor man whose prayer pierces the clouds, we're told. But it's lovely to be part of that constant stream of prayer throughout the day, all the different hours of the day, and particularly at the close of the day, at this, when the sun begins to go down and the dark comes and takes over again. But that gives us rest and relaxation. We come now in this prayer and I'm always reminded of that very reassuring uh, fact that although when one is ordained you, you take an oath that to recite the office regularly for the rest of your life, every day. But it's reassuring to know that when you are ill, when you cannot, you have not the strength to say the office or you're so desperately tired that you fall asleep that all the other people praying together will bear you up with their prayers. It's very much the communal aspect of that prayer. It's not an individual prayer. It's a communal prayer. Whether you're with people or not, we're all saying it together. So let us now say this office together. We commence with the Angelus. Then in Vespers, in the intercessions, I will bring up your prayers that you've sent in today and I will recite those and light a candle for each of them. Then at the end of the uh, Vespers, we'll end with a simple blessing and have one decade of the Rosary. And being Thursday, it's the Luminous Mysteries. And I've chosen the manifestation of Christ at Cana, at that, his first miracle at that wedding feast. Weddings are very much on the minds of us at the moment. As all the young couples who've been denied their weddings over the past 12 months are all... Uh, stacking up, ready to pounce on the earliest dates they possibly can. been a very difficult time for them, and we keep them in our minds and in our prayers tonight. And finally, after the prayers, after the, the, um, the decade of the rosary, the luminous mystery of the manifestation of Christ at Cana, we will finish with the evening anthem to Our Lady. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glories of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And the hymn I'm using for Vespers tonight is number 19 in the breviary. Now let us all with one accord 
And if you're using the Universalis, it's one of the alternative hymns. O oh God, come to our aid. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now let us all with one accord in fellowship with ages past keep vigil with our heavenly Lord in his temptation and his fast. The covenant so long revealed to faithful men in former time Christ by his own example sealed, the Lord of love in love sublime. Remember, Lord, though frail we be, by your own kind hand were we made. And help us lest our frailty cause your great name to be betrayed. Hear us, O Trinity sublime and undivided unity. So let this consecrated time bring forth its fruit abundantly. I will make you the light of the nations to bring my salvation to the ends of the earth. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son, your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people and save the children of the needy and crush the oppressor. He shall endure like the sun and the moon from age to age. He shall descend like rain on the meadow, like raindrops on the earth. In his days justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule this from sea to sea, from the great river to earth's bounds. Before him his enemies shall fall, his foes lick the dust. The kings of Tarsus and sea coasts shall pay him tribute. The kings of Sheba and Saba shall bring him gifts. Before him all kings shall fall prostrate, all nations shall serve him. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will make you the light of the nations to bring my salvation to the ends of the earth. The Lord will save the poor from oppression. He will rescue their lives. For he shall save the people when they cry and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak and save the lives of the poor. From oppression he will rescue their lives. To him their blood is dear. Long may he live. May the gold of Sheba be given him. They shall pray for him without ceasing and bless him all the day. May corn be abundant in the land to the peaks of the mountains. May its fruit rustle like Lebanon. May men flourish in the cities like grass on the earth. May his name be blessed forever and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel, who alone works wonders. Ever blessed his glorious name. Let his glory fill the earth. Amen, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord will save the poor. From oppression he will rescue their lives. Victory and empire have now been won by our God. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who are and who were, that you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great. Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they love not their lives even unto death. Rejoice then, O heaven, and you that dwell therein. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Victory and empire have been won by our God. From the letter of James. Be God's true subjects, stand firm against the devil, and he will run away from you. Come close to God, and he will come close to you. You that are sinners must wash your hands clean. You that are in two minds must purify the intention of your hearts. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. We repeat, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. The rich man who would not give a crust of bread to Lazarus begged for a drop of water. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The rich man who would not give a crust of bread to Lazarus begged for a drop of water. 
God enlightens us with the grace of the Holy Spirit that our lives may be filled with justice and faith. Let us proclaim his mercy in our evening prayer. Lord, give life to the people redeemed by Christ. Lord, unite bishops, priests and deacons more closely with Christ. Through the mystery of the Eucharist, renew in them each day the grace of ordination. Lord, give life to the people redeemed in Christ. Nourish the faithful with food of Christ's word. Feed them with the bread which is his body. Lord, give life to your people redeemed by Christ. Grant that we may respect the dignity of every woman, man, redeemed by the precious blood of your Son. Let us never violate their rights or their consciences. Lord, give life to the people redeemed by Christ. Save people from the blind pursuit of wealth. Make them sensitive to the needs of others. Lord, give life to the people redeemed by Christ. Be merciful to those who have left our world today. Give them everlasting happiness. Lord, give life to the people redeemed by Christ. for the intercessions that you've asked us to offer on your behalf. Colette asks us to pray that Melanie's search for employment be successful. And from a lawyer, prayer request for his son's exams tomorrow, that he attempts all the questions Liana asked for prayers for family well-being. And we're asked to pray for the safety and peace for Pope Francis' visit to Iraq this weekend. Joanna asked for prayers for her 10-week-old baby son, that he may recover from heart surgery and problems in his gut, which is not absorbing milk. Liz asks for prayers that her friend, Jean Phillips, as test results are good in her fight against cancer. Kathy asks us to pray in thanksgiving for Michael's operation and to pray for his recovery. And a request from Ingrid to pay, pray for Peter Black, who's been diagnosed with cancer. Colin would like his brother Anthony and his wife Mariana remembered for their well-being and good health. Jan and Kevin pray for their brother-in-law, Chris, who is suffering from an infection which could potentially damage his heart. And also remember in our prayers, Caroline, his wife. We continue to pray for Father David Osborne and for the full recovery of Helen, his wife. Also for Bernie Allwright, for Father Brian Taylor in his time of sickness in hospital and for his wife Hilary and for all those known to us who are sick 
especially those in hospital at this time, those suffering from the long-term conditions following COVID. And let us pray for the faithful departed. Alison asked for prayers for the soul of Father Ray O'Shea, whose requiem mass was said this morning. And Sandy asked us to pray for the repose of her, the soul of her mum, Edith Roberts, on this sixth anniversary of her death today. And Leslie asked us to remember her grandparents, Eileen and Patrick Leach, whose anniversaries occur yesterday and tomorrow. And we pray for the souls of clergy who have served our diocese in the past. Father Timothy O'Driscoll, who died in 1983. And Father David Maskell, who died in 2018. And we continue to pray for all families who have been recently bereaved. We pray for the repose of all the souls of the faithful. We offer them to God's mercy that he may grant them eternal rest. Amen. With confidence, we pray to our Heavenly Father in the words that his Son gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Purify us, almighty God, through our wholehearted endeavour to renew our lives so that we may approach the coming festival with single-minded devotion. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives with you and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And before you go in peace, we recite that one decade of the Holy Rosary from the Mysteries of Light, the marriage at Cana, where Christ was first made his mission manifest and his divinity manifest. We contemplate that first miracle of changing water into wine. But we also remember what his mother said to those servants who asked her what to do. And she said, do whatever he tells you. Do whatever he tells you. If only we could do that wholeheartedly, more so. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of your mercy. Ave Regina Celorum, Ave Domina Angelorum, Salve Radix, Salve Porto, Ex Quae Mundo Lux Est Orta, Gaudae Virgi Virgo Gloriosa, Super Omnes Speciosa, Vale, o valde, ecora, et pro nobis, Christum exora. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 